this could be a solution, taking the charcoal and the wood out of the communities. Freetown, the capital of Sierra Leone that hosts the highest portion of the country's population, has in the past been faced with serious challenges when it comes to waste management. Before the construction of the treatment plant, most of the waste collected by vacuum tanks were dumped in the open, which pose serious health threats to the community people. The wastewater treatment project, born out of the Transform Freetown project geared towards addressing the sanitation problem in the city, appeared to address the issue of climate change as it will discourage the habit of cutting down trees to obtain charcoal. It was reported that 83.3% of the households in Freetown use charcoal for cooking. In Sierra Leone, especially in places that are most vulnerable to the impact of climate change, households still use wood, 88%, charcoal, 7%, kerosene, 4% for cooking, contributing to deforestation, and related public and environmental hazards. In Freetown, 83% of the household still use charcoal. Apart from the climate resilient benefits of the 43 acre treatment plant at Kintom site, there were other innovative ideas derived from the waste, like cooking briquettes, biogas, and fertilizers. So we have now the compost for fertilizer. We have the briquette for cooking, and one of the most exciting ones is that we also have here a biodigester which is creating biogas, which as you saw in the demonstration, actually can light a stove. And the team have experimented and it can run a generator. So we're now, we're now uh, um, capturing that biogas um, and trying to store, store it so that alongside marketing the briquettes, we'll also be able to market the biogas. All present, we are taking on an enlightenment tour where the mayor of Freetown and the WASH coordinator Gold Sierra Leone Pels Nishimwe explained the various steps involved in processing the waste, starting from the depositing point to the different processes it goes through till the finish point. So the technology is based on the angel textile technology, kind of like bigger bags, which has the capacity to release water but keep the, the solid. Of course, uh, adding some, some few, um, Mayor of Freetown, Yvonne Akisoya, called for more partnership as she disclosed their intention to extend the idea to the east end of Freetown and the provinces. She added that they have begun engaging communities for the availability of the cooking briquettes in the markets. SLBC News, Slimantue reporting.